Hello, I'm Simon. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. To, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on how to create a compact cyclone dust collection system for your Henry Hoover. I now want to make a few modifications to it. I want to add some wheels, I want to add auto start stop, and I just want to improve the baffle at the top and how that fits. So let's get to it. I'm going to use this old MDF board that I've got. It's 18 mil thick and I think it'd be perfect for the job. So I mark out the circles and rough cut the MDF into manageable pieces using my track saw on MTF style workbench. The mobile wheelbase will be made from two circles to create a sort of tray for the bucket to sit in. These I cut out using my inherited bandsaw. I have to say my bandsaw is my favourite tool in the workshop. If you have any tips on using it or improving it, let me know in the comments. This part will become the lip of the tray. I then sand the parts on the oscillating spindle sander. This is a budget sander but works really well and has almost perfect dust collection. I then glue up the lip of the mobile base to the bottom board. and add some tacks for good measure. I then drill the holes for the casters, being careful not to drill all the way through. These wheels once had a life supporting a bed and are perfect for this job. Having straightened out all the spikes in the mounting plates, I fix them to the base. The casters themselves are simply a press fit into these mounting plates. The MDF board is seeing its second tour of duty, so I patch all the battle scars from its last posting with some wood filler. I give it all a coat of paint and set the mobile base aside to dry. The mounting plates on the underside prevent the wet paint from coming into contact with the workbench. While that's drying, I cut out the circle I need to create the upper baffle. And using a hole saw, cut out a hole in the middle of the piece large enough to fit a guttering downpipe. The hole saw isn't quite big enough for the job, so I enlarge the hole on the spindle sander. I can now mark out the length of the downpipe. I'm using a white paint pen. Along with pencils and sharpies, this gets used a lot in the workshop, so it's a handy marker to have. This then gets cut to length using the bandsaw. I cut a port into the side of the pipe using my rotary tool. The pipe serves two purposes. It will connect the fine baffle to the top baffle so that the cyclone comes apart for emptying as a single piece and it also acts as the channel for the vacuum. I'm using the bottom of a baked bean can as a bracket to connect the pipe to the fine baffle, which I glue and screw in place using silicon sealant. Okay, so here's the changes I've made. This is now a thicker piece of board and it fits better in the bucket here. The fine baffle is connected via a piece of drain pipe and a baked bean can to, um, to the top. The air gets sucked from here and gets pulled out here. This is opposite the inlet to the hose, so hopefully you get a, more of a cyclonic um, suction. This then fits in here. And it's a tight fit. Let me just push it down. The HEPA filter then goes on top and 
and then I can put Henry on top. It's on. There you go, that's a really good suction and it seems to pull up the, the sawdust which was a mixture of, well it came out of the bucket itself so it was a mixture of um, coarse and very fine dust. If we open it up we can inspect the HEPA filter and just check that it's nice and clean. And it's perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Amazing. So I'm really pleased with that. It's definitely an upgrade from the previous Mark 1 version. I fitted the wheels and placed Henry onto the mobile base. I also added a small piece of waste pipe as a clip for the hose for when I'm not using Henry which isn't that often, it just clips on there like that. The auto start stop was a lucky find when I was tidying up out my workshop in preparation for my new workbench. It's in the form of an extension lead which I'll fit to my new workbench here I'm making a cable holder for it. So this is the first mod to my mobile workbench. This extension lead is only two meters long, but it has a feature on it that when the master socket is receiving power, it turns on the power to the slave socket. It's originally designed for computers so that when you turned your computer off, all your monitors and other peripherals were turned off at the same time to save power. However, I found that if I plug my shop vac into the slave sockets, then I plug my power tools into the master socket, then the shop vac will automatically turn on and automatically turns off. Um, it seems to work fine. It's rated for 13 amps at 240 volts, so um, should be should should be fine. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.